Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Last week I talked about some nostalgic moments I had while playing Left 4 Dead with friends. So this week I decided to chase that feeling a little bit deeper with another game I loved when I was younger. That game being Star Fox 64. Now Star Fox was originally introduced to me when my mom bought me a Nintendo 64 back in the 90s. To me this was the golden era of gaming. And I spent a lot of my childhood escaping into worlds trying my best to enjoy an adventure that was carefully curated for me. Fast forward nearly 30 years later and I'm still craving that very same adventure. Now the reason I brought up Star Fox is because I recently came across a game that embodies the exact same feeling of familiarity I had when I was younger, but with a modern take. That game is called Exodiac. Exodiac defines itself as a fast-paced, low-poly, three-dimensional on-the-rail shooter. I know that was a mouthful, but it is very reminiscent of the older Star Fox games. I always wanted an on-the-rail shooter that illustrated a game that was from my childhood, and honestly, Exodiac captures that image perfectly. It follows a similar formula of creating villains within an already existing world, and having you face off against each of them as you near the end of the level. The modern side of combat allows for a smooth 60 frames in between a constant barrage of enemy fodder and homing missiles that will give you a more intense feeling than that of Star Fox, and it also attempts to recreate the same feel with its low poly imagery and aesthetic. We play as the main protagonist who goes by the name of Q, which again looks to be following the same theme as Star Fox by giving her an anthropomorphic look as well. Now Q's main job as a star system liberator is freeing the worlds of the Sanzaru star system that is completely overrun by an intergalactic terrorist organization that goes by the name of Zodiac. All of the villains of the organization come in different shapes and sizes, ideally showing off their anthropomorphic characteristics within their boss designs and mechanics. Now I didn't know this going into it, but this game not only embodies the nostalgic past of Star Fox, but another game called Space Harrier. This was a game featured on the Sega back in 1985. It's another low-poly game that featured the protagonist in a third-person perspective set in a surreal world composed of vivid landscapes and brutal enemies. In Exodiac, collecting fragmented data allows you to enter this world and fight your way through an exclusion zone with your main character outside of her ship. The game steps up its intensity here by throwing objects in the way as well as challenging the players with maneuverability and enemy placement. I always love to feel the passion that goes into these types of games made by somebody who undoubtedly captures the undertones and essence of what gaming was like in the late 80s and 90s. And Exodiac is no stranger to that. It channels its retro aesthetic with a modern take on game design, and I love the simplicity in its characteristics and familiarity. Exodiac is currently being made by a single developer, and is hopefully coming out of early access sometime in the near future. I'm just trying to do my best to shed some light on games like this one because of the sheer dedication that this developer has poured into it. It's clear to me that this is a passion project, and I also really appreciated the feeling of being a kid again and being able to escape in my own imagination of what the world had to offer me. Something I would really like to see this game inherit is the multiple routes that Star Fox 64 allowed us to do, giving the game a little bit more replayability and introducing pathing that could open up the game a little bit more for its narrative. But being a game that isn't being worked on by a full team of developers, I'm mostly just excited to finish the game and hopefully explore whatever the developer chooses to throw in next. Do me a favor and leave me a comment if you've played any modern games that show this much familiarity in a game that you played as a kid. I'm always intrigued in games that I may have never heard of, and who knows, maybe you'll find a game that you can enjoy too. Anyways, I just want to thank you all for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time. My name is Zen, and I'll catch you in the next one.